I mean, I thought a lot about it. I don't actually have any sort of like strong feelings in general about organized labor, but it's sort of just like read both sides' arguments, and it just the union side seems stronger. I'm a member of the board of student advisors at the law school, and I've also been an RA. And I know that sort of our wages have remained stagnant for the past like I think decade now at this point. Uh, so that seemed like kind of an issue. Um, and I just sort of, just like Harvard's like such a huge institution, I just didn't really think it was possible for like the BSA individually or the RAs at the law school alone to be able to like really negotiate uh, in good faith and sort of on an even, even playing field with the administration. This year, given what we've seen with the sexual harassment on campus, given the fact that we know that the minimum wage for research assistants hasn't gone up since 2008, it's really clear that students' voices aren't being respected on this campus. So I voted in support of the union. Um, I think it's important to have collective bargaining power for the students and to encourage the students to have more support and power in this domain. I think uh, there's been really good support. People have really encouraged me to get out and vote. It's been organized. I got a text message today, which is great because, um, yeah, it, it just helped to encourage me to get out there.